Ugh, I can't believe... I wanna just... Ugh, I wanna just go in. Oh my gosh. Just go... Freaking... Uh. In! Ah! Oh. Uh, nailed it. <laughs> Be gone, evil spirit! Papyrus? Hmm? You never did show me your special attack. <gasps> oh, that's right! That pesky dog got in the way any time I tried. But the little pest has let me be for some time now. Shh, Papyrus! You're gonna miss the best part. Oh, sorry. So that's it for the season. But the next one comes out in a few weeks, and Alphys and me are gonna have a little party. Party. And you guys are totally invited, of course. Sounds great. I definitely liked how none of the monsters were really evil. We knew you would. <laughs> anyway, I'm curious. What were you and Papyrus talking about earlier? Oh, when everyone used the special attack, it reminded me I never saw Papyrus use his. I forgot all about it until just now. Huh, really? He's super proud of it. I can't believe you missed out. If that's the case though, I know I'm still pumped from watching awesome magic fights and there's only one way to fix this. You gotta see this, punk. Come on, Papyrus, let's do this. Well, this is a thing. Are you coming? Uh, I'm getting up as we speak. Ugh. You're not moving at all! Ugh. Fine, be that way. I'll be outside. Nah, you know I'd never miss out on you being cool. I wonder how the kid will react. I bet it'll be hilarious. Okay, since Toriel would kill us if we hurt Frisk, I'll be your opponent. Just like old times, huh? Indeed, though mostly we cooked. Cooking, fighting, saving the world, it's all the same. You give it your all or it doesn't matter. Now, show me what you're made of. Can't that be bones? <laughs> nah. Ha! 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 My bro really is cool, huh? I'm dying strong, but the virus has her beat when it comes to control. I've given her a real run for her money, too. So cool. Now! Inspired by the spirit of cool anime and my inherent greatness, I, the Great Papyrus, give you... My special attack! Is supposed to be a cool skull. For some reason, it's this. I've got it! Papyrus, you were inspired by anime! 
You summoned a spirit like Minako. <laughs> oh my god, that totally explains it. I suppose I did say as much. I didn't expect it to have any real effect, but here we are. All right, you have done well enough. You may go. Um. Well, off with you! Shoo! Aw, I think it wants to stay. Do you call it anything besides a special attack? I never needed to. It's just my attack. It's not normally this stubborn. It also doesn't normally have a body. Maybe you put too much effort into it. But of course, I always give my all. But I didn't know I had more of my all to give all along. Incredible! What new heights will the Great Papyrus reach next? Can we keep it, bro? You always wanted a puppy. I've had enough of dogs since then, thank you. But it seems we have no choice. Can I pet it? I don't see why not. I'm getting in on this too. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aww. It really likes him. Of course. Though, I admit I had no idea it could be so amicable. Are yours ever like this, Sans? <laughs> nah. You know I don't have anything as cool as your special attack. Laser skulls are way too much effort for me. Laser dragons? Totally out of the question. Of course, brother. I don't know why I thought anything else. How silly of me. No, hold on. Don't cover for him. If Sans has this kind of thing too, I want to see it. You heard him. He's far too lazy for such feats. I'm sure if he just practiced, he could approach my levels of cool as well. Though I agree, chances of that are quite slim. I fought almost everyone except Sans, so I never got to see his magic either. I expected to fight him in the last corridor, but he only judged me. You never gained love, but you gained love. For some reason, he really doesn't want to fight at all. But maybe if I ask very nicely... Sans? <laughs> I really, really want to see your special attack. Please? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, kiddo, but I really don't have anything like that. But hey, I'll throw you a bone. Here, catch. See? I can't hold a candle to my bro. So there's no point in dragging this out any longer. Sans. Did you really think you could hide this from us? Not hiding anything if there's nothing to hide. You liar! You're the one with secret rooms and code words and... <laughs> I'm sick of you kids messing around! Sand, what are you, five? Yes. He's like 27 or something, actually. Oh my god, that's worse. I know. Fine, fine. Because I've got no choice. If Sand won't show his stuff on his own, I'll make him. What? <laughs> Well, go easy on me. Not everyone is as tough as my bro. Please. You know I don't go easy on anyone. Especially not a slacker like you. Seriously? I went, didn't I? Ugh, whatever. 
I could do this all day. <laughs> so, that's my special attack. Can you stop the fight? Frisk me. Heck, even Papyrus wants to see it. Come on, Snacks, just one turn. Is this really so hard to do for your friends? Hmm. Okay, then. After this, you'd better be ready. <sighs> That's more like it. And I'll make this quick. You were kidding. All right, here we go. My special attack. I told you it was nothing, didn't I? <laughs> You've been holding out on us. Both of you skeletons! <laughs> Jeez, calm down, you'll blow a gill. Anyway, my bros is cooler, and I need a nap. That was enough action for me today. You guys have fun. Ugh, you nerds! You have all this sweet magic, and you don't even know what to do with it! Come here, you! No! Yeah! <laughs> I cannot believe! Yeah! I'm dying! Please release the skeleton! No way! Not telling you tell me why you guys held out on me! Undyne, this isn't Undyne, let him go! So he can explain that! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oof! Owie! <laughs> With a friend like you, Undyne, it's a wonder I still have bones. Aw, oh, come on, you love me. Well, yes, we're friends. <laughs> you know, I never would have guessed you guys were so strong. Well, I knew you were strong. <gasps> and okay, maybe I could have guessed Sans was strong too. You just never put effort into anything. But dude, you're both forces to be reckoned with. I don't know of anyone else who summoned, I don't know, their own pet. And like, it's basically an extension of your own soul, and it's just so freaking cool! <laughs> but yes, my attack is very cool. My brother doesn't like his quite as much. Of course, he doesn't like fighting at all, and that's one thing I can respect him for. Sans likes being friendly, lazy, and telling bad jokes. His attacks are none of those. I'm not surprised he doesn't like showing them off. But, I'm confident if we use them in light-hearted skirmishes, their demeanor would change for sure. But, you said yourself, he doesn't fight. True. So, I think he only used them today because Undyne would have hit him. Yes! Doing. Make me worry, that's what. Huh. Hmm. Oh my god. That's adorable. Looks like even your attacks really care about him. You know, I think I really will keep it. It's nice to have someone else looking after him. Even if that someone is a 60 foot skeleton dragon thing. I wonder what Sans's attacks would look like if they were more than just skulls. I doubt we will ever know. Alas, Sans is not so easily inspired by cool animes, or anything at all. But one giant dragon thing is enough, especially since it's mine. No way! You need, like, 
A dozen of them! Oh my god! Oh come on, you know I'm right! But also consider no! Oh my god, just think about it! I have, and it's simply not a reasonable. <laughs> not with that attitude! I'm dying, I love you, but, but you just got us! If I'm honest, I thought my adventures were over. Looks like I was wrong. What are you going to name it? Also, it needs another toy. Already? That's the third one this morning! I can't believe I'll have to teach it not to vaporize them. Ugh. Yeah, it hasn't gotten tired of that yet. Ugh. But as I was saying, we should name it. Hmm. I'm not sure it needs a name. It's just my special attack, with a little extra to the special this time. That's plenty of name for me, but if you insist, Maybe Papyrus Jr. Really, bro? That was worse than one of Asgore's names. Come on, I know there's a way better name rattling around in that skull somewhere. Well, of course there is, but you put me on the spot. Well, if you can't think of anything, we could always call it Spike, or Scully, Tybiarius, Philanges, Vertricia, Rebecca. Stop! Stop! No, we are especially not calling it any of those! This entire conversation was a setup! I will think of a name without your input! Thank you! Alright, alright, don't take my awesome ideas. It just feels really awkward not calling it anything. <sighs> I suppose. I know! When I think of something, we'll send out invites. Then everyone can come and meet it properly. That sounds like a great idea, bro. In the meantime, we should probably get it to do something besides blast up the yard. <laughs> no, not my expertly manicured lawn! <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Sleep good? Mm-hmm. Don't worry. The virus will make you some pancakes when he gets back. And thanks to Toriel's early lessons, they're actually edible. Sounds good. What was all the noise about? It sounded like you told a really bad joke. Hey, my jokes were solid gold. Papyrus just doesn't like any of my names for his special attack. So, did he come up with one he liked? Nah, seems like he's not ready to. I think... he's afraid it's not gonna stick around. Oh, so... he doesn't want to get attached. Pretty much. Actually, I think it'll be fine. Papyrus's other attacks last outside of battle for ages, and they don't have the spirit this one does. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. You know, you've got a point, kiddo. You just might be right. <sighs> you want... to ride? My attack? Yeah. Ugh. That sounds totally unsafe. Toriel would never let you do it. Good thing we're not Toriel. Sans, the former queen of all monsters has entrusted her heir to us. The disapproval. No, I can't bear to consider it. You may not, but I have a reputation to uphold. But I'll be safe with you guys, right? Sans made a promise. Yep, we've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, That's even worse! What if you break it? The attack's pretty tough. I think it'll be fine. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Fine! Fine! Go and ride the special entirely not for playing on attack! Just don't come crying to me if you get hurt! Except do so I can hear you. But! Don't say I didn't warn you! <laughs> <sighs> Sans, sometimes you are a terrible influence. Only sometimes. Well, I suppose you did allow me to attain my current greatness, so there is that. Aw, oh, bro. <laughs> As always.
always, I must intervene. Here, you buffoonerous companions, let me help. Aha! Another job well done. And off you go. Nice work, bro. Thank you, Sans. Hopefully Frisk is satisfied. Finally, I'll be hailed as caretaker of the century. <laughs> this is so cool! Well, I guess they do float when they're- Frisk! Not to worry, Frisk, we shall rescue you! Uh, bro, last I checked, we can't fly. No, but we have magic. Turn me blue. What? No way. I'm not gonna throw you. Can't you tell it to come down? I've tried! But it seems it's having too much fun to listen. Hmm, gotcha. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, the way I see it, we've got three options. I could toss you up there and risk missing. Not fun. We could turn the kid blue to bring them both down, but they might just get hurt. Also not great. Or the third option, which I think is probably the best. But I know how you feel about shortcuts. Hmm. Well, if it's to ensure Frisk's safety... Wait. Can't you just bring them down here? Oh. Yeah. Incredible. Good thinking, bro. Thanks. Well, that was anticlimactic. But, Frisk is safe, and that's all that matters. Now, for our other problem... You! Yes, you! Get down here this instant! You heard me! You're worse than that irritating dog! Unbelievable! To think I had any hand in the creation of that beast! Hey! Get back here, you lousy reptile! Finally! You listen here! You're in hot lava! That was very dangerous! You can't just go taking Frisk <laughs> unexpectedly! It's so rude! No, oh, it just looks like Papyrus is laying down some ground rules. Luckily, Papyrus is pretty down to earth. Let's hope our dragon pal appreciates the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Sans! I can hear you punning from over here! As if wrangling a bony beast wasn't bad enough! I have to deal with you! Am I never to get any respect around here? Huh. You know, though, it's lucky nothing bad happened, considering we were winging it. <laughs> I'm so proud. Well, kid, we better head in before he really takes off. Let's take a shortcut, huh? Dodge this forever. <sighs> Bookshelf organized. Action figures actionized. Frisk, staying overnight to watch terrible animes with Undyne and Alphys. Brother, in bed, sleeping. The house is quiet and calm at last. A fine night for all things Papyrus. All there is left to check on is my special attack. Ah! Awaiting the daylight hours as well, I see. Excellent. Hmm? Oh no. Ah, you're on the case too, hmm? <coughs> Hang on, Sans, I'm coming. <sighs> I was really hoping these were over. <coughs> Jeez. Sans, 
Brother? Sans? Sans, it's okay. You don't have to fight. <gasps> 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 Hmm. Really, Sans, such a fuss over a piece of fabric. <coughs> the trash tornado? Why did you even bring this? Sans! Wake up, sleepy skull, you'll get us both hurt! Really now? There, there. See, it's all right. What? Bro? There you are, brother. You had me very worried. You had another one of those nightmares. It was bad. Oh. Jeez. Do you remember what it was about? You were quite distressed. I... <laughs> so... Never let anyone use green soul magic on me again, okay, bro? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, Sans. I don't think Undyne knew. But that's no excuse. I'll give her a stern lecture the next time I see her. Which will be later today. Consider it done, brother. Thanks, Papyrus. That said, how'd you get bold jangles in here? What? No! I told you, we're not calling it that. No, Sans, in your throws tonight, you summoned your own full attack! Dude, whoa. Huh? Yes, we're all right. And look, you have a brother now. Well, in a manner of speaking. Sort of? Hmm. Our attacks are friends! That's a relief. I don't think the dog pound would take him. Sans! Yikes. Looks like I made even more of a mess than usual. It appears you had a lot of feelings to express. I just wish you would express yourself when you were awake. Huh. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, I think I expressed myself too much. Mind handing me that ketchup? Ketchup is not real food, but okay. Ah. I'm afraid, dear brother, that it is empty. But I'll get you leftovers from the fridge. BRB. <laughs> well, pal, here you are. Didn't think I had it in me. Though, based on how I feel, I definitely don't anymore. <laughs> Glad to see you got my sense of humor. I was dreaming about some pretty nasty stuff. But I guess we can smile our way through anything. Easy, buddy. You know it's just the bro. I guess you would be pretty jumpy coming from me being scared half to death. Hmm? Sans, I return! Bearing a delicacy! Ah, great. Thanks, bro. Of course! What would you do without me? Dunno. Be way lazier? Why did I ask? Anyway... Man. Undyne and the kid are gonna flip. They're going to flip so hard! <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> yup, that's about what I expected. <laughs> How about you, kiddo? What's your verdict? It's awesome! Can I pet it? Well, I will say, my attack's not as friendly as my bros. But sure. Knock yourself out, bucko. Yes! Uh... Hmm... Seeing how nicely you treated its brother... Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, Sans. Your attack is just as lazy as you. Is that really a surprise? <laughs> it really shouldn't be. Our magic is tied so closely to us, and t technically, these constructs are just extensions of you two, so even though they can think for themselves, it's not surprising they have some of your personality traits, too. It's honestly pretty amazing. It is, isn't it? 
Ah, Undyne, you're back! I'm glad you recovered from your shouting fit. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, but it's just... I can't believe your brother pulled this off! We all agreed he would never be up for this! How? What the heck happened to change that? Well, though I agree it's astonishing, my brother put effort into something. It's also kind of serious. I do not like being stern with you, Undyne, but... Go on. Huh. Well, it would be very great of you if you would never use green soul magic on my brother ever again. It gave him a nightmare. I don't know the details, but it was pretty bad. He summoned this attack because of it. Ah, uh, jeez. I know some people get claustrophobic when it hits. I guess I got too intense with it. Just saying sorry won't cut it if it affected you so badly. So, is there anything I can do to make it up to you, Sans? Anything, huh? Well, taking me to Girlways every week for a month just might help me forgive you. No! I forbid it! Hey, she said anything. I could have had her carry me so I didn't have to walk, or short my sock collection, or take trombone lessons from me. But if we're sticking to reasonable requests, well, for one, like my bro said, don't do that again. Two? I don't know. Let me get back to you. Anyway, what brings you ladies over today? Well, we were just going to drop Frisk off, but then we got to talking, and I have a really big presentation coming up. Lots of human scientists are curious about magic and the core, so Asgore asked if I would do a lecture on monster science. I might not be the royal scientist anymore, but I was, so I guess that makes me the most qualified. <laughs> you got this, Alf. Frisk remembered that Sans likes science stuff and might be able to help Alphys out. So we thought we'd come hang and she could give us a practice speech. Sounds good. But you sure it wasn't just to watch anime? Pretty sure. Though once Alphys is done, that's not out of the question. Well, no animes until Alphys has presented her presentation. So, let's get the movie screen set up. A little bit later. Ta-da! The screen is ready. And so is my projector, so are we ready? Ready! Ready! Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, welcome everyone to my talk. My name is Alphys. I was the royal scientist appointed by King Asgore. As royal scientist, it was my job to study the magical barrier that trapped monster kind under Mount Ebbet as well as invent and research things that could improve quality of life and maintain the core. And that's what I'm here to tell you about. But we know all this stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm giving the talk like you're the humans I'll actually be presenting to. So just pretend you don't know. Oh, okay. Then I don't know anything. <laughs> well, if that's cleared up, let's keep going. Magic is the expression of a monster's soul. Despite centuries of research, we're still not sure where this energy comes from, now, but it's essential to the core. Of the force is about it's a marvel of monster interference. Its main function is to And that's it! Thank you all for coming. Um, how did I do? It was awesome, babe. Though, if this is a professional presentation, maybe don't have Mew Mew Kissy Cutie as your desktop. Uh, um, right. Good point. Okay, so, um, aside from that, how was it for time? Did I talk too much? Sans fell asleep in three minutes, which is unsurprising. I'd say it took about an hour. Oh! Not bad for how much you had to cover, and the way you condensed the Arcano Quantum Theorem into something comprehensible was super impressive, too. So, you get a gold star from me. Good job. Th thanks, Sans. It means a lot coming from you. It took me forever to get the wording right. Wow, Sans. You actually know this stuff? Fritz just said you liked science. Not that you're a total nerd! I'll have you know I'm a complete dork, thank you. But, uh, yeah, science stuff is pretty neat. Most of it went way over my head. Does science always have so much math in it? I didn't even get into half of it, Frisk. We're talking particle physics, that's almost nothing but math. Yep, it takes a pretty firmy understanding to get anywhere in that field. Ugh! If that's your idea of help, Sans, Alphys is in trouble. Lucky for her, I'm here. I- But, oh. bro, you know telling puns is one of my better quirks. I'm so good at it. Sans! Them. No, you're not! <laughs> oh my god, Sans, those were awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, Papyrus. Were you gonna say something? I was, 
before I was rudely interrupted by bad puns. I think you should have cool pics of us when you talk about magic. We'll pose epically as we show off our mad skills. Also, you should use a laser pointer. Lasers are made of science. It'll be very scientific of you. Oh, yeah, the real screen I'll be presenting on will be way bigger, so a laser pointer would help a lot, and... Oh, good, I did remember one. So I'll practice with it next time. Thanks, Papyrus. Always happy to help. That's the Papyrus difference. Well, if Elphys is gonna use pictures of us, we gotta go take them first. Come on, Papyrus, you ready for a rematch? Oh, you bet! These are gonna be the best scientific figures ever! <laughs> I'll get my camera ready. Frisk, Sans, you wanna watch? Eh, I'll pass and just hang here with the attacks. I don't wanna get entangled in any more fights, if you know what I mean. <laughs> just don't be surprised if they get, um, borrowed. I'll come watch. I'll make sure no one gets into trouble. Well, pals, looks like it's just us, lazy bones. <laughs> I guess laying around's not your style. You gotta be in the center of attention. Don't mind me. But Sans appears to have disappeared. Ugh, typical. I'll go get him. Feel free to start without us. Ah, uh, okay. Ready when you are, Alf. Oh, okay. So, I guess I'll start. The core was designed like a giant puzzle with sliding interchangeable rooms that allow for a number of configurations. Every time we move these sections around, the core can continue operating at normal capacity. Uh... Alfie? What? Oh. <laughs> Stay behind me! What did I do? What changed? <laughs> May I? Uh, oh, sure! Ha! Catch this tough guy! Nice work, but how about this? Go grab the camera. Okay. Ah, what gives? It probably got tired, or maybe it's smart enough to realize it couldn't catch the laser. That's possible. Hello, my adoring friends. After a long impromptu game of hide and seek, I have acquired my brother at last. You would not believe. Wait. Um. This doesn't look like a science. <laughs> oh man, Papyrus, you totally missed it. We got Sans attack to chase a laser, just like in all those cat videos. Oh my god, really? That's hilarious. It was! But I don't know if we can get it to do it again. It might have figured it out. Yeah, my attack's pretty sharp. Oh, you bastard! I'm kinda sad I missed that now. Oh well. I bet we could get Papyruses to do it. But we really should be helping Alphys. So, back to work, I guess. Oh, um, actually, I actually feel pretty confident. I might do another run later, but once I get into a groove, it's pretty easy. Uh, of course, it might be different in front of a hundred people. <laughs> well, when you're up on stage, just remember this neat trick. Just imagine the entire audience. Is, um, naked? What? No! Who does that? No, I was going to say you should imagine the entire crowd is a friendly, helpful skeleton who believes in you. Oh, thanks, Papyrus. That's really sweet. Well, if we're done with nerd stuff, who's that first of anime? Considering all I went through to get Sans so he could help you with the science things, we're not done with nerd stuff yet. So keep it going, Alphys. Uh, oh, okay. And Sans actually be helpful. But bro, all my best science tips are gone. Sans! Oh, 
I know what your talk needs. One of those fake volcanoes that explodes. Undyne, I don't explosion! If we made it a particle accelerator, it'd be accurate. Oh my god, Sans. Sans really is good at science. His lab, those jokes he made earlier that only Alpha's got, what he said about her talk. I wonder why he gave it up. But Sans doesn't like talking about it himself, so he'll probably never say it. Frisk, brothers, I have arrived. Mom! <laughs> First of all, I expect an apology. Hm. These beings do seem to regret their actions. I will accept their apology. Um, Miss Toriel? Yes, my dear? If I may ask, what the heck he happened? Ah, oh, there you are, my child. Yes, I agree that some explanation is in order. From everyone. Frisk, brothers, I have arrived. Mon! That is our side of things. Now it is your turn, brothers. What are these? And what is my child doing near such dangerous creatures? So, uh, funny story. They're our attacks! They're not normally this bad. They're not even normally like this. Please don't be mad at them. They were just scared for Frisk. Yeah, Tori, they really are usually a lot more chill. Mine usually naps. Papyrus just wants to hang out. We kind of summoned him on accident. Maybe you did, but I was showing off. You didn't mean to make a dragon, though. Well, no, but at least I wanted it to be cool. And it is, bro. Even when it trips over its own tail. That was one time! Hands, yours got stuck in a tree. Oh, yeah. It was hilarious. And you were both too lazy to get it out for three days! Yup. Yeah, Mom, the attacks are really nice. They just didn't know you're a friend and were trying to protect me. Yeah. We're all on the same side here, the friendship side. Uh, <laughs> perhaps I was too hasty in my own defenses as well. Though I am still concerned that Sans creation was so eager to attack. Uh, it seems both only acted out of concern for my child's safety. <laughs> yeah, the blasters care about him a lot. It's pretty cute. Sans, I thought we agreed to call them special attacks. Um, uh, we did? They're really called blasters? Um... Sure. Blaster, special attacks, it doesn't really matter. I keep telling Papyrus we need to give him real names, but he doesn't like any of the ones I suggest. Because they're all terrible! Anyway, I'm sorry about all this, Miss Toriel. I'm sure you and Frisk are ready for home. Well, we weren't expecting to stay for- Oh! What does it want? It wants you to pet it, Mom. Is that so? <sighs> You are not so bad, are you? And you're... oh. That expression. I know I've seen it before. Hmm. I think... Given all that has happened, perhaps tea is in order. 
That is a splendid idea. You can tell us all about the teaching thing you went to, and then we can fill you in on all the japery and hygiene. Help the pirates. Huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm moving a bit slow today. It is all right, my friend. Let's take it easy, as you like to say. I know now where I have seen the attack's expression before. It is astonishing how our magic reflects us. <laughs> May I join you? What? Uh, sure. I wanted to thank you again, my friend. Looking after Frisk while I was away is very much appreciated. Hey, it was nothing. Everyone had a good time. Yes. Well, everyone except for you. <laughs> You're still worried about my nightmare? What are you, my mom? <laughs> That's no way to speak to me, young man. Go to your room. You can't make me do anything. You're not my real mom. <laughs> no, I am not. But I am concerned about you. Your attack struck with a fury I cannot imagine from you. And perhaps I antagonized it, yes. However, it was still more aggressive than your brother's. You did not share the details, but for a nightmare to result in such... I can only conclude that there is something deeply troubling you. If there is some way I can... <laughs> Tori, I'm fine. I've actually been dealing with nightmares since I was a kid. The whole summoning a mythical beast thing is new, but I think I just stole the idea from my bro. He's really cool, you know? It's not that complicated. Mm. Very well. Just know that you may tell me anything, my friend. I have led a long life, and there is not much that could surprise me. <laughs> Look, old lady, we're on the surface. Who knows what's out there to surprise you now? <laughs> you have a point, my friend. I cannot help but wonder what novel experience will present itself next. Huh? Huh? Yeah I know you missed us dearly, but cry no more. We return. <laughs> what on earth have you two gotten into? You're covered in dirt! Puzzles! We may have been a little zealous in our rebuilding of the lawn. It is the most devious thing ever devised. And Frisk help! Yep! There'll be a genius puzzle architect yet! So, what did you build? A classic pitfall trap. <laughs> well, that'll definitely be a surprise for someone. Who? Whoever drops in. Sons! Well, brothers, thank you once again. It has been a delight. Frisk, get cleaned up. It is time we headed home. Oh man, it's been forever since I was last in Mom's garden. So many plants, it's always changing. I have to see what's new. Huh? Howdy, Frisk! What are you doing here? I had to check up on my best friend! Didn't you miss me? We had so much fun together! Sure we did. <laughs> Ugh. Listen, Frisk. Go on. Well, ever since we broke the barrier, I've been thinking. I thought I'd just stay down there and think about what I'd done and all that. Not to mention, look at the flowers. But, to be honest, that got really boring. Turns out flowers can live on their own just fine. I mean, that's not the real reason I was there, but... <sighs> that's where the first fallen human was buried, wasn't it? Your best friend? Uh, yeah. Toriel must have thought she was being poetic, picking that spot. But my best friend isn't there anymore. So it's just boring. I... I really can't take it anymore. So you're telling me that you came all the way up here just to check on me? <laughs> it's not like I really care. I literally can't, remember? But... I figured, 
anything you were up to it had to be better than literally watching grass grow. I... I also like to think my old friend would want me to go too. They really hated humans, but they wanted monsters to see the surface more than anything. They want me to go too, right? I'm sure they would. <laughs> well, I guess I don't really know what to do besides tag along with you, but I can understand why you wouldn't want that. No, that's fine. I'm glad you decided to come after all. It'd be nice to have someone to talk to. Because you're the only one who understands what having to reset was like. Hmm. Well... I can't promise I'll be a good friend or even a good person. And you know I can't ever be him again, right? Unless you reset and do all that stuff again. But... I still won't stay that way, and... Maybe it's a little weird coming from me, but I, I, I don't want you to reset. You made me see how awful I was, and rethink everything I believed, and I don't want to go back. I don't want to forget any of that! <laughs> I don't want you to either. I don't want to reset ever again. I promised myself I wouldn't. Not when everyone's so happy. Well, almost everyone. But now that you're here, I don't have to worry. Having friends and a real family, I don't ever want to lose that, even if I could get it back again. Hmm. Wow, Frisk. You've thought about all this a lot, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, well, it's the kind of thing that keeps you up at night. Golly, I thought, sure, you'd get like me, and once you got bored, poof, back to do it all again. It's just still night, you know? Trust me, Frisk. There's a lot you didn't see or do. I know. I do wonder about it sometimes. But it's not fair to ruin everyone else's happiness for my own curiosity. <laughs> well, it's a lot more interesting up here anyway, right? The underground gets boring after a while. Eh? And hey, you know, when I had the power to reset, I did it all. Explored every possible thing I could. Helped everyone, killed everyone, everything in between. So, if you have a burning question that almost makes you want to go back, just ask your old pal Flowey. How's that sound? We'll have to call you Googly, since you know so much. Uh, no! Oh, what a stupid name! See if I ever help you again! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm joking. I really am glad you want to stay. Life's definitely been exciting here. Hey, so don't hold out on me. Tell me everything. <laughs> Where to even start? Hey, so don't hold out on me. Tell me everything. <laughs> Where to even start? I was the ambassador between monsters and humans for a little while, until Toriel decided it was too much to ask a kid to do. Metaton's gotten really popular. You should have seen his TV debut. Toriel's working on opening the school, of course. Alphys got fired as royal scientist, but now she's the official scientific consultant helping to bring the course technology to humans. And Asgore's been making sure all the legal stuff is taken care of so everyone can live together. And that's not even half of it all. We'd be here for hours if I told you all the small stuff, too. Everything's turned out better than we'd hoped. Huh. Honestly, that's about what I expected. <sighs> oh! I finally got to see Papyrus' special attack! I guess it's not supposed to be a whole dragon thing, but- Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Papyrus did what with his attack?! Uh... It came out different than normal, I guess? It's this huge skeleton dragon thing with wings, really long legs, a super long tail. It's super friendly too, of course. And Sans made one too. What? It's pretty different. It's smaller and spikier mostly. I guess I'd call it a dragon too, but it's not the usual kind. It's a lot more wary about stuff, but it still likes naps just like Sans. I don't care about what they're like. You're telling me those skeletons did something else weird with their blasters? Uh, yeah? You might have 
changed. But not much, huh? No, Fresk, you don't understand! There's something up with those two! Since you didn't mess around much, I never had a chance to warn you. But that smiley trap... Sans is trouble! I'm still angry about what he did. Ugh, maybe it's better if I don't tell you. I know he likes messing with people, but it's all in good fun, so I don't get what you mean. Did he get you with the prank? Oh, sure. Sans is a real wise guy, all right. He acts all harmless and friendly, and if you can stand his awful jokes, he's not so bad. If we're really friends, Frisk, listen very carefully, and trust me when I say never tell Sans about your resets. And never fight him. He's the worst cheater I've ever seen. I mean, he's always doing shady stuff. I bought illegal hot dogs from him. No, it's worse than that! Sans is merciless if he fights for real! There's a reason his blasters don't look like cute puppies! A monster's magic reflects who or what they are, right? And Sans has bones, blue magic, and laser dragons! So does Papyrus? Yeah. He doesn't think any of the weird stuff he does is weird. But I have to wonder because he's always holding himself back. Like he's afraid. And his blaster's not scary, right? Maybe a little odd, but not scary. Well, no. So my point is, whatever's up with Sans is a lot more to be worried about than you realize. He doesn't like people who can reset. At all. I... guess he did tell me that if he hadn't promised Toriel, I'd be dead where I stand. But... He knows I can reset. I told him myself that I was a time traveler. He made me say a bunch of really silly code words to prove it. <laughs> he let me go into his room after that, and I found the key that led to his secret lab. I don't know what he wanted me to learn, but it seemed like telling him about my power let him trust me. Huh. Huh. I told him I was a time traveler too once or twice, but he never let me in on anything like that. Weird. Hmm. 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 Uh, hey. You want to know something else weird about the blasters? Yeah? Well, I did some poking around outside of the save file. Yeah, you can do that. And I found a lot of secrets, Frisk. And among them was the blaster's real name. It's not just Blaster. It's Gaster Blaster. Gaster? Yeah, I don't know either, actually. Even in all my resets, I never found that name anywhere else. No, I... I know that name. I never expected to hear it again. You mean you found something else I didn't? I guess so. How? It was really weird, actually. But I met this monster that talked about him. They said he was the old royal scientist and that he shattered across time and space. All through a piece of him they held in their hands. Then they vanished right in front of me, and I never saw them again. I'm creeped out all over again just by thinking about it. It was just so weird. Hmm. So, this Gaster guy was the old royal scientist, huh? And Sans and Papyrus attacks have his name on them. Do you think maybe he made them? Maybe. Royal scientists do all kinds of things. Huh. Hey Frisk! It's been a real informative chat with you today. I thought the surface would be boring once you got your happy ending. But the story's not over after all! I tried figuring out what was up with those skeletons ages ago. But I gave up when I couldn't find anything more. This is our chance to finally get some real answers! You with me, best friend? I really would like to know more about both of them. And I get the feeling Sans is really sad sometimes. I'd like to help him if I can. Well, if you knew what he can do, you might not feel so charitable, but fine. You have your reasons, I have mine. If we work together, we're bound to find something. Hey, I know what you can do and still want to help you. Yeah, you weirdo! Whatever. Listen, I'll see if I can find some stuff out and tell it to you later. See ya, pal!
So according to Flowey, Sands is dangerous. He did threaten me, but he wrote it off as a joke and has been nothing but nice to me ever since. Still, this blaster really doesn't look like anything I'd expect from him. And then, there's all that stuff with Gaster. Why is anything about him found so outside of reality? How did he shatter? Why are the attacks named after him? I know Sans did science at some point, then stopped, and he seems to know how to do stuff outside of reality. Huh? But he's not the only skeleton who does. It's just like Flowey said. There really is something weird with them. Is it all connected? If Gaster really was the old royal scientist, Toriel might have something about him in her history books. And if she does, I'm going to find it. I'm not going to let Flowey do all the work. <sighs> wow, Frisk. You weren't kidding about the dragon thing. Well, I'll have to be really careful. But I came here to find out what these things are capable of. So, I might as well start now. <laughs> Humans have such tedious paperwork. What a way to spend such a lovely day. The sun is shining, flowers are blooming. <sighs> but as much as I would like to be out in my garden, I will enjoy what I must to ensure the peace and prosperity of my people. <laughs> Howdy, this is Asgore speaking. <sighs> I see. I will come at once. <laughs> 